everyone welcome to sus cookbook channel how are you all hope all of you are doing well over here i'm fine thank you okay the dish that i'm going to do today is going to be a paste vegetarian style tom yum paste and this is specially dedicated for all vegetarians and vegans who also love thai food and will use this particular paste to make their favorite thai dishes so let's see what the ingredients are so stay tuned till the end yeah so here are the ingredients for the vegetarian tom yum paste here i have about 300 grams of dry chili which i soaked in the hot water for about 30 minutes to soften the chili i've drained and i've kept it here in the bowl and the water i did not discard ah, i'm just going to reuse got about one and a half tablespoon of tamarind juice or tamarind water one and a half tablespoon of lime juice using some palm sugar as well and also some raw sugar oil and these are the main ingredients so i've got about two inches in size of the galangal not ginger galangal a couple of cilantro roots or coriander roots some even call this uh, chinese parsley eh? it's all the same yeah i have about one small red onion with a couple of shallots i used uh, small stalks of uh, lemongrass so here i have about five because they were quite small and we only use the inner part so we try to use more stalks of uh, lemongrass i'm using only one clove of garlic two bird's eye green chili and three bird's eye red chili and about seven kaffir lime leaves I've just torn them into small pieces like this okay here i've got some salt some vegetable seasoning powder and these are mushroom granules on i just want to share with you another thing is some of you are always uh, mistaken for ginger and galangal. This is how, this is an old ginger. So this is how it looks like. And as for the galangal, you can see the skin is actually quite hard. So this is how the galangal looks like. So sometimes they ask, can I substitute the galangal with ginger? Uh, no, actually, because the flavors are different. And usually in tom yam, it is galangal that is used, not ginger. Okay, so let me blend all this into a very thick paste and show it to you. Blend all this now, putting in the dry chilies. And if you find that the galangal is a bit uh, big, you may just uh, cut it into even smaller pieces. I've actually uh, sliced it quite thin. Because galangal has to be quite thinly sliced for it to be blended or not, it's not going to blend well. Okay, so what you can do is just use a scissors and just cut them into smaller bits like this. And if the roots are big, also cilantro roots, you may just cut them into small pieces like this. So let me put all this in now. And if you can't find cilantro roots, if you don't get cilantro with the roots, huh? In some countries, you might not be able to buy them like that. It's okay. But don't go and use the cilantro leaves. Huh? Don't use that. Just the roots. I'm going to use a little bit of water. Put in the tamarind water. As well as the lime juice. Pour in a little bit of oil. So here it is, beautiful chili paste that we have blended and you can actually start smelling the tom yum paste smell huh? and uh, it's actually super spicy. So if you do not want it to be too spicy, you can just uh, don't use the bird's eye chili and as I said earlier in my previous uh, how to make chili paste videos, these dry chilies huh? sometimes they are quite spicy and there are some varieties that is not very so it all depends 
So probably the one that I use now, the dry chili, is the spicy type. It's going to heat up a non-stick pan. A non-stick pan would be good, would be a better choice. And now I'm just going to put in some oil and I'm just going to saute this. Probably it'll take about more than 25 minutes to about 40 minutes on low flame. possible try not to add any water to this okay okay this will start to splatter so you have to keep it covered but before that what you can do is before adding the salt and all that try to taste and see if there's uh, enough of sourness in it if you find that uh, there's not much sourness in it you can add instead of adding water as I said don't add water you can add some more uh, lime juice or tamarind paste or tamarind juice instead and uh, in some countries huh, even this is available these are actually lime flavored powder it's very sour you can also use this okay, because tom yum paste is supposed to be a bit sour so i'm just going to add a little bit i did not mention this just now because i have it at home so i'm just using this now so if you don't have this uh, lime powder, it's fine. Just use lime juice or tamarind juice instead of water. I'm going to add in the sugar. Now all this amount for the sugar, salt, seasonings and all that, uh, you can just decide according to your own preference. I'm adding the salt now and the vegetable seasoning. And I have some mushroom granules at home, so I'm using it. So whatever seasonings that you're using, make sure it's vegetarian because this is going to be a vegetarian style tom yum paste. Keep it covered and allow this to saute slowly. But time to time, you need to check and you need to stir because you do not want to burn the paste. Keep the flame low, keep it semi-covered like this. And we'll check this time to time. Beautiful it is. Time to time, I did give it a stir so you can see it has thickened. The color has changed to a very dark maroonish red. And the smell it smells awesome here, like tom yum, like we're cooking tom yum goo. It's beautiful. Let me taste. So I think that I'm going to add in a little bit more of tamarind juice. Okay, as for the ingredients, I showed you what the ingredients were because these are um, vegetarian style tom yum paste. So do not use any fish sauce, dry shrimp or shrimp paste, right? Besides that, all the other ingredients are the common ingredients that need to be used for the paste. But for the amount, more or less, you can figure it out yourself. If you want to add more palm sugar or more raw sugar, more salt, whatever, then you can just decide as you cook this paste. So maybe I'm just going to allow this to saute for another couple of minutes, maybe about 5-6 minutes, then I'll check again. So, about seven minutes now and you can see wow perfect consistency and I added a little uh, oil right? in between while I checked just added another two tablespoon of oil so more or less all this you need to decide on your own because when you are sauteing you must have sufficient oil and because you're not going to instantly use up all this amount right so the oil actually helps to preserve the chili paste longer. It can last you, if you put it in the freezer, it can last you for a couple of months until you use them. Or even if you keep it in the fridge or chiller, do not use any wet spoon. Whenever you want to use, use a dry spoon. You take the amount that you want, it can even last you 
about a couple of months, about two months at least. We'll check for the final seasoning. If there's enough salt, the sourness, according to the preference. And just uh, maybe for another one, two more minutes, and it's done.